We open this sensational seven countdown with a college basketball rarity by way of Western Hall. With this second half triple on Thursday against Omaha, Will Carius collected the landmark 2,000th cumulative point of his career. The culmination of a rare basketball journey spread across three different divisions, one, two, and three of college basketball. Our descent into high school madness this week netted our cameras a pair of picturesque dunks on both sides of the river. Monroe City's Joshua Tolton on Saturday with a tap away and throw down here in the district title game at the Highland Cougars' expense. And Liberty's Logan Robbins punished Griggsville Perry on its own floor no less with this two-handed flush in the regional semifinal opener. Quincy High School's successful regional title quest in Alton was marked by clutch and timely plays. None fitting the bill better than this Ralph Wire swipe and swoop buzzer beater to open the proceedings against Edwardsville on Tuesday. Their phenomenal 2022 campaign came to an end on Friday, but we would be remiss to dismiss Fort Madison's marvelous fourth quarter flourish against Oskaloosa to rally back from as much as a 13-point deficit. Thanks to the 28-point scoring effort of Dayton Davis, a force of will effort made all the more impressive by the fact that Dayton did so on a bulky knee. The Scotland County Lady Tigers had to weather a ferocious second half comeback assault from Schuyler County on Saturday to punch their sectional ticket. Hannah Feeney's ridiculous and one here, the flashpoint for her team in an eventual 47-41 victory. But no one did clutch any better this week than a freshman. Bell Rausch's 20 and 10 in the district title game, impressive as it was on statistics alone against Palmyra, was made even more legendary by the fact that her closeout three clinched a 59-55 win for the Lady Birds. And at the top of our list this week, we reinforced the notion that it's not really March Madness without a dramatic buzzer beater. Jaden Robertson's half-closer from Monroe City with just one second left on the clock against Highland Saturday night gets both high marks for distance and unique celebration. Mr. Robertson earns top honors for the second time this season, atop our countdown with his poise and his panache from long-range sniping away, sensational seven style.